Welcome to lecture 3 part 2. So we talked about factoring and also we talked about um, um, multiplication of polynomials. So we are going to do some more examples on that. We should help you with the homework. So the first one is um, actually multiplying polynomials. So like file, but here it's not file because there are six terms. So it's just distribution. So these three together and then these three together. So just be careful when you do it. 3x times x cubed, that would be 3x to the power 4. 3x times negative 2x, that would be negative 6x squared. And 3x times negative 6, that's negative 18x. And then minus 4 times x cubed minus 4x cubed. Negative 4 times negative 2x plus 8x. Negative 4 times negative 6 plus 24. So now write it in standard form and combine the like terms. Um, all I see the like terms are these two only and the rest is like 3x4 minus 6x squared uh, oh, minus 4x cubed minus 10x plus 24. Well, just uh, swap these terms just uh, to make it in standard form. So it's 3x4 minus 4x cubed minus 6x squared minus 10x plus 24 and that's it so it was very much like file okay now here the second one is um you know quite similar um one thing i i would notice that is um you can see that it's if you set it as u and take this guy as v you get something like u plus v times u minus v well if you did not notice that and if you went on to multiply stuff you can see it's like you will be multiplying one two three four five six and then seven eight nine things which is not the easiest way. It works, but it is not the easiest way. So the easiest way is to uh, notice that it can be written as x squared plus x plus 2 and x squared plus x minus 2. In this way, you can actually say this is u plus v, u minus v type. So remember the way you do the multiplication. This is a difference of two squares. So it's u squared minus v squared. So it's this first one squared minus the second one squared. So x squared plus x squared minus 2 squared. Now that's way more easier because you can now FOIL this. So that would be x squared plus x times x squared plus x minus 4. Uh, just do a quick step FOIL x to the 4 plus x cubed plus x cubed plus x squared minus 4. So you should end up with x to the 4 plus 2x cubed plus x squared minus 4. Now you could have skipped the filing step by using the product formula. I do recommend it if you can, but if not, you can always go back to filing. All right, guys, so let's check your understanding on this. Let's do the question on the left side of the screen. Okay, so um, let's see how we factor things. So what you do is look at the common factors and pick the least x1. So what you have right here is 5 and 10. The common factor is 5. The, the, the greatest common factor is 5. And x minus 2 to the power 4, x minus 2 to the power 3, we will pick the least exponent. That would be x minus 2. To the power 3. Now when you get used to this you can do it quickly you can skip the steps and um, you know just be comfortable with whatever you're doing but right now what I'm going to do is first write the least uh, first write the greatest common factor in front and then write what's remaining so I, I had I had 5x minus 2 to the power 4 I have 5x minus 2 to the power 3 I need one more Okay, 
and again write the greatest common factor 5 times x to the x minus 2 to the power 3 and what's missing I need 10 so I would need 2 and that's it I don't need any of x minus 2 to the powers so now you can see that because you took the greatest common factor you can easily see you can take it out so that would be 5 x minus 2 to the power 3 and write what's remaining inside the parenthesis and that would be x minus 2 here and minus 2 so it should end up with 5 times x minus 2 to the power 3 times x minus 4 <clears throat> so first it would benefit if you can write the greatest common factor on a side and then write it with the greatest common factor and what's remaining because now the next step you just you know uh, take the greatest common factor out and finish factoring okay let's see how that is done here so again the greatest common factor out of 9 and 27 that would be 9 okay y plus 1 to the power 3 and y plus 1 to the power 2 least exponent y plus 1 to the power 2 x squared and x to the power 3 least exponent is x squared okay now write it down so first I'm gonna write the greatest common factor 9 y plus 1 to the power 2 x squared and then I'm going to write down what's remaining in the first term 9 is already gone y plus 1 to the power 3 and I have y plus 1 to the power 2 so you have y plus 1 to the power 1 remaining and x squared x squared so everything is gone so that is the only thing remaining now here again I'm gonna write the greatest common factor 9 y plus 1 squared x squared and then I need 27 I just have 9 so I need 3 more not 18 more 3 more we are multiplying here okay and then I have 1 plus y plus 1 squared y plus 1 squared here so nothing goes on there and x cubed x squared so there's one more x here All right, now you can see the common factor is outside. You can just take it out and write open a parenthesis and write down what's remaining. So in red, you have y plus 1 to the power 1. So don't write 1 plus 3x. That's it. So just rearrange the terms if you want to. y plus 1 squared, x squared, y plus 3x plus 1 is your answer. So when you go in that order, everything becomes as you know as easy as possible. Okay, now let's go on to this uh, one right here. Okay, uh, again, clues that you have here is there are only two terms. Now, if there are only two terms, there are only two ways to factor. Either you can take out the common factor, but you can see there are no common factors here. And the only other way might be taking the difference of two squares okay and when you take the difference of two squares well you should express this guy right here as a squared term now 16 is 4 squared x to the power 4 is x to the power 2 squared and 81 is 9 squared so now you can combine these so that would be 4x squared squared minus 9 squared. Now, now you can just have a good look at what you already written there and see whether they are the same. And of course they are the same. All right. Now you have a squared minus b squared form, right? a squared minus b squared. And how do you factor it? a minus b a plus b so your a is that and you that's your b okay so 4x squared minus 9 and 4x squared plus 9 okay so is that all well no because you can see that this guy right here can be factored more
uh, well there are no factors for this no common factors and it's not a difference so there are no count no uh, nothing there just that right here you can factor it and how do you factor it 4x squared is actually 2 squared x squared minus 3 squared I did not do anything I just rewrote that 4x squared as 2 squared x squared minus 3 squared which is the same as 2x squared minus 3 squared times 4x squared plus 9 now again you have a squared minus b squared type a squared minus b squared and your a is this and that's your b so you end up with 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3 and lastly 4x squared plus 9. Okay, so sometimes you will have to factor more than one step. Exam question alert. I might use it, I might not use it. So be careful, practice those types more. Okay, uh, right here. Now that's the trinomial. So you can actually do nine times 25, find the factors and see something adds up to 30. But just look at the sheer numbers involved. Nine times 25, that's like, you know, 225 and it has a lot more factors. So one more way is by looking at is there a shortcut and how do you do the shortcut way well what you do is see whether the first term is a perfect square well it is and it's a perfect square of 3y okay see whether the last term is a perfect square and it is it's a perfect square of 5 now take the numbers or the variables which are inside multiply them that's 3y times 5 and multiply it by 2 and that is 30y and see whether it's in the middle and you can see it is in the middle so see whether the first term is a perfect square the last term is a perfect square take the inside terms multiply them and multiply it by 2 and see whether it's the middle and it's like that so now it means the shortcut is possible remember the shortcut is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared goes to a plus b the perfect squared so your a is 3y your b is 5 i believe i hope you understood that and then you will just do a plus b squared so the factorization here would be 3y plus 5 whole thing squared that's it now when we give these type of questions and we if we expect you to go this way we will make sure going the other way makes it look really hard so that is one clue well if there's really big factors you know uh, doing this the other way should be really hard but if you just go the go by the formula it is um, as easy as it can be so um, I hope you understood it and I hope you will look for clues for shortcuts so now do the question on the left hand side of the screen and then let's go to the next part <clears throat> okay we have some more factoring now these all these two factorizations uh, are somehow related to difference of two cubes formula now if you don't have it uh, in your notes let me write it down for you a cubed minus b cubed factors as a minus b a squared plus a b plus b squared and a cubed plus b cubed is factored as a plus b a squared minus a b plus b squared 
and these are the things you need to remember as formulas for the exam or the quiz or web assign okay so uh, the first one is quite straightforward all you need to do is express it as difference of two cubes well this guy is just two cube it is two cubed two times two times two 27 is three cubed and x cubed so this can be expressed as 3x the whole thing cubed by using the rules of exponent and that gives you a cubed minus b cubed so your a is 3x your b is 2 so plug it into the formula so you get a minus b that is 3x minus 2 and a squared use parenthesis here 3x squared plus a b that is 3x times 2 plus b squared that is 2 squared so now you just uh, remove the parenthesis 3x minus 2 9x squared plus 6x plus 4 and that's it so um, it's a it's a good thing to remember when you do the parenthesis make sure you uh, distribute the power so you have 3x squared that would be 3 squared x squared which is 9 x squared so um, these are the points where we would exploit in multiple choice questions for example one of those choices would be in if, it's a, if this is a multiple choice question uh, one would be a bad choice would be 3x minus 2 3x squared plus 6x plus 4 now if, if you do 3x squared as 3x squared here then this would be wrong so always make sure you, you do this type of factoring um, this type of expansions do it correctly all right um, this one right here again it's a sum of two cubes so it's of this a cube plus b cube form but but we need to make sure what things cubed are these now this guy right here is y squared cubed and 64 is 4 cubed so this is your a and this is your b so now use the formula okay all right so um that would be um, a plus b so y squared plus 4 and then a squared use parenthesis y squared squared minus y squared times 4 plus 4 squared so you get y squared plus 4 y to the power 4 minus 4 y squared plus 16 and that is the answer and always you see using the parenthesis is the key here and when you do it do it slowly and the last example right here is um, again this is something I really like um, because it, it again it checks everything that you know about factoring including difference of two cubes difference of two squares and sum of two cubes so you know where you see it okay so first of all this is 2 to the power 6 okay x6 and 729 is 3 to the power 6 you can do it yourself and see whether that works and it should work right so this is actually 2 okay now I see this as the difference of two squares so let's do it this way let's first do the difference of two squares so let's have all the formulas we need at hand so this would be a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b a minus b a plus b anywhere and then two sum of two cubes 
that would be a cube plus b cubed you already should have that with you a plus b a squared minus a b plus b squared and three difference of two cubes and that would be a cubed minus b cubed that is a minus b a squared plus a b plus b squared so let's see how all these three formulas play a part here so um, I really want to use difference of two squares as them as my first step okay so that would be 2 cubed x cubed to the power 2 is that the same thing yes because when you do this you get 2 6 when you do this you get x to the power 6 minus 3 to the power 3 squared now this is your a and this is your b and now you can plug in and to the formula and factor it so that would be 2 cubed x cubed plus 3 cubed times 2 cubed x cubed minus 3 cubed that's the first part you use the difference of two squares so I'm going to do it as 1 because you use the formula 1 difference of two squares so and now I'm going to write this in this way. This is 2 cubed x cubed is 2 x cubed plus 3 cubed. And this guy right here is 2 x cubed minus 3 cubed. Okay. And now you can see this is the sum of 2 cubes. And this is the difference of 2 cubes. okay so now your a is 2x your b is 3 your a is 2x your b is 3 so let us factor this guy first 2x plus 3 remember parenthesis 2x the whole thing squared plus 2x times 3 okay, minus 2x times 3 plus 3 squared that's this whole thing and then this guy right here will become 2x minus 3 2x the whole thing squared plus 2x times 3 plus 3 squared okay so at the end you are ending up with 2x plus 3 4x squared minus 6x plus 9 2x minus 3 4x squared plus 6x plus 9 and that is the answer Okay, so now it's um, so I hope you learned how to do different manifestations of difference of two cubes and difference of two squares. Uh, there's a question appearing momentarily in the left hand side of the screen. Please do that and let's proceed. Okay. And these are the last examples. So factoring by grouping and factoring trinomials. Uh, it should go in that order because fa when factoring trinomials, we will factor by grouping. So right here, group and take the common factors. You have x as a common factor here, x minus y minus x minus y. So here you have minus x minus y because negative times negative here is positive okay now you can see there's a common factor x minus y and this can be regarded as one so x minus y take it as a common factor and then in the parenthesis you will have x minus one now you know that you can actually go back in the video if it was too fast you can rewatch it okay and that is how you factor by grouping and uh, what's a very important application of factor by grouping is factoring trinomials 
So remember what we do here. You first take the first term, take the coefficient, that's the leading coefficient, and then times 6, the constant. 7 times 6 is 42. And then find the factors of 42 which will add up to negative 17. Well, the factors of 42 are um, 7 times 6, 3 times 14, and then uh, 21 times 2. Well, 3, 14, 17. So if you take negative 3 and negative 14, that will add up to negative 17. So we are good. So this is the factoring we are using. Okay, which means you need to split the middle to 3x, negative 3x and negative 14x. So this is how you do it. 7x squared. It doesn't matter what you pick, but you know, negative 14x would go nicely into here. Minus 3x plus 6. Okay, now you can see 7x is a common factor. x minus 2 minus 3 times x minus 2. Now you can see x minus 2 is a common factor. You can take it out. And what's remaining is 7x from the first term, 3 from the second term, minus 3 from the second term. Okay. Now let's do the last example. Again, take 5 times 4, that is negative 40. So one number should be positive and the other number should be negative. So see factors of negative 40. Let's see factors of 40, which adds up to 8. Uh -huh. um, which adds up to 8. So 10 times 4, um, 5 times 8, mm, 2 times 20. Oh, I, I got it wrong. Sorry. 5 times 4 is negative. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. So factors of 20 that adds to 8. Uh, let's see. 20 times 1. 10 times 2. Um, 4 times 5. And that's it. Um, and you can see if you have plus 10 and minus 2. One should be plus, one should be negative here because you get negative 20. You get plus 8. So you will have x and x and you will split the middle to 10x minus 2x 5x squared plus 10x minus 2x minus 4 and then you can group 5x is a common factor x plus 2 negative 2 is a common factor x plus 2 x plus 2 is a common factor 5x minus 2 now there are various methods. I I've seen someone, some people doing it called some something called the box method, and some something um, um, called just writing down the uh, right starting with writing down the parentheses. So there are many ways to do it. This is one of the ways. If you know something that works, and if you get it correct, we will not uh, cross off any points. Feel free to use that. Okay, so uh, finish the lecture by answering the question on the left-hand side of the screen. Thank you.